Hey, what's up everybody? <laughs> what's going on? Frank Slauson here. And, <clears throat> well, I guess I can say officially welcome to season four of the Frank Slauson Show here on YouTube. Yes, it's been, the past three seasons have been uh, pretty good, I guess, you know, and, and then uh, some videos, you know, take it to, to the max, some videos don't, but uh, yeah, I guess, you know, whatever, uh, Whatever has to happen, has to happen. <clears throat> but I hope this next season here, season four, uh, will be uh, just as entertaining, if not more entertaining. Well, once again, I'm vlogging and driving, as I probably should be. It's probably against a lot to be doing this, but, you know, I haven't made a video in almost, about, what was it, two, no, three weeks, maybe? Almost four weeks, probably? Or close enough to that, anyway? Anyway... I needed a break from YouTube, and I needed a break from just, you know, from getting mad at the whole AdSense thing, and I don't know, I mean, that, that, if you ask me, that's complete bullshit. Yes, I said the word bullshit, and I say that because it's the truth, you know. You try hard, you know, to, to, to work hard on, on to, to make good videos, and yet they don't really want to pay you what you're really worth. But then again, I'm not complaining, because that's all in the past. So... As far as AdSense, AdSense and myself and worry about being a partner and all that stuff, I'm not worried about that anymore. I'm just going to make videos just because I want to. I want to have fun again, and I want you guys to have fun too. I mean, I, I realize that, you know, as controversial as I've been or as much as I've complained, I've, you know, I've learned from other people that you really shouldn't complain about being able to make videos on YouTube. You should complain about other people's success. Because it's a, probably a reason why you know those people are successful and you're and you're not. But I wouldn't say that I'm not successful. I, I'd say the best of my success hasn't even happened yet. You know, it's still re getting ready to happen. You know, I've been successful in the past. You know, with you know being on the radio. You know, being a DJ. For those of you who know that I was a DJ, you know, for six years, or that I went to school for broadcasting and all that. Uh, yes, I've actually been to college before. Uh, believe it or not, you know, some people probably don't believe that I've actually been to college, but I have. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the last few weeks since I've been gone, uh, since I took a YouTube break, and uh, I want to address some of those situations here as a way to kick it off. Uh, the first situation is uh, I want to send my condolences. I know it's probably a week too late, but I guess it's never too late when it comes to this, this uh, uh, stuff. Uh, to uh, Brendan Mitchell, you know, my, my boy went, Brendan Mitchell went movie one, you know, the fact that he lost his dad, you know, I was, uh, I was kind of surprised to see him make a video about that, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't make videos like that if their spouse had died, you know, but I think he did it, you know, there's a, probably a few reasons why he did it, and I'm thinking the biggest thing is because, you know, as he probably doesn't really have a lot of friends, you know, that are close by, that's why he turns to us, you know, we're his online friends, as as he is ours, and, you know, it, it's not because he wanted sympathy from everybody, it's because I think this is his this only way of coping, you know, I think if that ever happened to me, and it has happened to me before, I mean, if you go to a past uh, video, last year, 2010, when my Grandpa Bushy, Grandpa David Bushy passed away, I made a video the day of the funeral, after the funeral was done, talking about that. I, I think it's still up or whatever. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and see if it's still up or not. But, you know, I even talked about that. You know, it was kind of sad, you know. It's, it's sad when you lose people that you love. You know, especially. Or even just to lose a friend. Lose a buddy. You know. I've lost many people in my life, you know, whether they were close to me or they were just friends of mine. Uh, the last friend that I had the latest friend that passed away that I that I knew it wasn't somebody that I really hung out with but but he used to come into my work at Hugo's and at night when I'd be pretty much by myself he'd come by and we'd chit chat for probably for a couple hours yes while I was working you know probably wasn't supposed to do that but you know what who cares you know I did it anyway you know because that's the type of person I am no I'm just kidding no but he would come in like once a week or whatever we'd chat you know for maybe two hours while I'm working on something and to come in and, you know, chat with me. I made time go by pretty good. 
And even while I was bagging groceries, he he would uh, he would come chat with me. So it'd be nice to have somebody to talk to, even though I was supposed to be focusing all all my attention on, on the customer at hand. But oh well, whatever. That job sucked anyway. But uh, anyway, uh, he, uh, my friend John Lindahl. And uh, for those of you who live around the area that I live that know the Lindahls, you know. They're, 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 they had a big family, but not really a big family, but a few, you know, a few members anyway. And there's only maybe two original members left. And my buddy John Lindahl, who was like, you know, he was 46, 46 years old or 47 years old at the time. I think now he's maybe 48, uh, if he was still alive. He, uh, you know, he committed suicide, and he was, he had depression really, really bad. And I tried, you know, as a way to cope with him, you know, to, to talk to him and try to, you know, because I knew what he liked, and I, he, was, he was a family friend, you know, with my family and all that, to my dad and all that, everything, and it just kind of, and I was kind of surprised, you know, that uh, that happened. The, the, probably the, the dumb thing that I probably should have done, that I shouldn't have done, or that I didn't do, was uh, I didn't go to his funeral, and I know that probably people wonder why would you go to a funeral that's you know your friend well I don't know I mean it, it was tough it's tough for me to deal if, if he would have died naturally of natural causes I probably would have obviously went but the fact that he committed suicide that he literally hung himself uh, at his parents shop in their furniture place that's why I didn't go because I was very angry at him that he would do something like this. I knew why he did it, but it was just hard to let go. You know, just because I was so used to seeing him, and then that he was gone. You know, and that happened in March of this year. So, but I do uh, want to send my condolences. I, I've already talked to Brendan about this already. You know, via Skype and everything. Um, and Brendan's my my boy. You know, he and I have uh, been doing a channel on Blog TV. Uh, as you're just wanting to get to another, uh, I want you guys to go check out the channel, The Rush Hour Renegades. www.blogtv.com slash people slash The Rush Hour Renegades. And I'll put the link down below because I, while Brendan hasn't really done much on that channel, you know, because he's been busy and everything, I, I haven't kind of want to keep that channel going and uh, been playing music uh, for a lot of people who like music and whatever. And who doesn't love music, I guess? Everybody loves music. Uh, I've been playing, you know, it kind of brings me back to my DJ days, but I've been finding music and songs and from certain bands and artists that uh, that uh, I think that qualify for to that would make a good radio show. Even stuff you probably wouldn't hear on, on your own radio stations, you know, that they probably couldn't play. But I play everything. It's all unedited. You know, I, I got everything from Kid Rock to Black Sabbath to Elton John to... <laughs> I got over 11 gigs of music so far. Got some Led Zeppelin. I mean, so if you like music and if you're in a chatty mood, I want you guys to come come check out my, my shows. I do them Sunday nights at 10 o'clock Central Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, uh, and Tuesday nights at 8, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I might switch around here and there, but for right now, I'm just picking Sundays and Tuesdays. I did a show last night just because I just felt like doing a show. Sometimes I'll do that. If I feel like doing a show, uh, I'll just uh, go ahead and do it. But, you know, it's been a lot of fun. The only thing I wish is that I wish more people would show up in the room. And there's been a couple people, and I'm thankful, you know. But you figure with a guy, I mean, I, I know I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but I know I got, you know, a lot, I got about almost 2,000 subscribers. And, and I got you know, about almost 1,000 friends on Facebook. So you figure, when you tie those things together, you figure that you get a lot of people in your room. When Brendan goes live, he has a shitload of people that come in the room. I was amazed, you know. Uh, but anyway, so it just it's, it's more or less of that. Uh, it, it brings me back to my DJ days. I used to broadcast a lot on StickCamp.com. Uh, it's right now it's just a music and chat show, and by chat I mean literally typing it because I don't really hit my. The one thing about Blog TV is the same thing, just like StickCamp. It, it because of all the servers that they got going on. You could have the greatest computer in the world. It pretty much literally has to take the greatest computer in the world with like 400 gigs of RAM or whatever to be able to, to actually have a professional broadcast where you can do a web chat and everything as well as play music and all this stuff. 
that ch ch channel the microphone. But mine, I only have, you know, two gigs of RAM. I have a lot of space on it, but it's just, you know, my, I just have a compact, and so it's uh, kind of slow for me sometimes, you know. Not when I broadcast, but mostly when I, when I just, uh, I know when other people listen to me, they say that it cuts out once in a while. But there's nothing I can do about that, you know. When I listen to it, it sounds fine. But when some people listen to it, it sounds like it's cutting out. But anyway, regardless of what happens, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this more often uh, to broadcast. So if you guys are, you know, on the computer and you guys want something to do, want somebody to chat with, or want some, want to listen to some tunes, I try to make everybody happy. I don't have everything. I don't own every song ever written, but I, I own, I probably have about almost 3,000 songs. You know, that's a lot for 11 gigs, I'd say. Maybe not to sell that much, like like that much. But anyway, so other than that, uh, and I, I in the next video that I do, I'm gonna probably do a DVD update because I, I got now that I've been working at this job at American has been going by very well. I, I have been fortunate enough to to be able to uh, buy some DVDs again, and it feels good because you know this whole summer I probably only bought four. That's it. You know I watch a lot. I've gotten a lot from the library, but a lot of those discs that I would get would be scratched up. That's the thing that sucked about it. But I like buying discs that aren't scratched and everything. Even if they're used. But I got everything from the Ta Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 and 2 to... What else did I get? Critters. First Critters movie. I got a few uh, movies with uh, Garrett Hedlund. And for those of you who don't know who Garrett Hedlund is, he's a guy who was uh, act who acted... He was in, been in movies such as uh, Troy, Friday Night Lights, uh, Death Sentence, Four Brothers... Let's see what else has he done. The, he, lately, the latest one he did was Tron Legacy as uh, Sam Flynn. And he also did Country Strong. He's one of the, uh, one of the singers of Country Strong. Anyway, the, the, the reason why I got some of his films and why I mentioned about him because uh, a couple weeks ago during Labor Day weekend, he actually stayed at the hotel that I live in. Or that I live in, that I work at. And because he's originally from my area... Uh, believe it or not, we see. I didn't know he was coming down. If I would have known, I would have you know brought a camera and, or did a video interview. I'm sure he would have allowed that to happen. But it's my latest. That was my latest celebrity encounter, anyway. But we had no idea. None of us who was working that day had no idea that he was even showing up until he showed up. And I was just like, I know who that guy is. You know, so I talked to him a little bit. You know, I mean, he, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. He's friends with me on Facebook, so he, that's pretty cool. That's it's really him. You know. Because he, he told me that he has a Facebook. So, anyway, so, I just figured I'd gotta let you guys know a little bit what, what's been going on. Uh, this is my first video of this new season. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do any celebrity interviews or anything like that. I'm trying, but, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to do make it different, too. I mean, I, I got to focus more, I think, the attention on what I want. More on, and not to sound too self-centered, but more on my life, I guess. Since this is my channel... This is more me sharing my life with you guys, more or less than me just being self-centered or anything like that, or worry about another interview or whatever. Um, so I don't know what this season's going to bring, but you know, I just hope that it brings good things, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I do what I can. I mean, some of you guys, you know, some of you like me, some of you hate me, some of you have no idea what to think about me, but you know what? When it comes right down to it, you'll you'll find out. You know, that I am a very cool, very nice guy that cares about everybody. You know, I, I don't just think about myself, you know. I care about a lot of people. And if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you, you know. That's how that goes. So anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and, you know, thanks for watching the videos, and we'll see you we'll in the next one. Bye-bye.